Bauma, everyone. We are here on day one, and of course we are talking to Caterpillar, and we are gonna be talking with Dustin Childers, who is gonna tell us kind of everything that they have here in a brief snapshot. And uh, Dustin, thanks so much for talking with us Appreciate today. Appreciate it, thanks for letting me. So um, what are your three main focuses here at Bauma for Caterpillar? The three main focuses we have is really around powering today. Uh, we understand that um, you know sustainability is a journey. Energy transition is a journey for many of our customers, um, and so we're here to talk about that. Uh, extending life cycle services incredibly important um, in ensuring sustainability uh, as well on the job site, and then of course driving tomorrow. So we'll talk about some of our advanced power technology that we have on display. That's fantastic. Um, let's take a minute and talk about some of the specific items then. What we have here on display is just a demonstration of the variety and the range of engines that we have to offer. Um, so we've got our 7.1 liter engine, we've also got our C13B, our 93B, and our C18 liter uh, engine. I think one of the things that's really unique um, for us, uh, and we, one of the things we want to talk to our customers about, is that these engines are all HVO compatible. So we, we are uh, having a focus on making sure that our engines, our new technologies, um, are able to run on sustainable fuels, um, more sustainable fuels, low carbon intensity fuels. So not only do they run on diesel, um, but they also run on biodiesel and HVO as well. And we've been working uh, on those different technologies for over a decade. So even going back to the tier four final, stage four uh, engines, now up to the stage five engines, all can be uh, run on HVO as well. Great, and um, you're also talking about, with folks here at this time, about remanufacturing and rebuilding of the engines, correct? And that's a really incredible point when we think about extending life cycle services and reaching sustainability goals on the job site. Um, we know that we have a lot of opportunity to take what's already in the field uh, and make sure that those engines continue to extend and operate the way that they were designed to operate in. And so we'll be talking to our customers a little bit more about what we are doing on the reman and rebuild side. While you are here with the technology you're discussing, do you think there's one item that might be the talk of Bauma? Well, we hope that all of our items are the talk of, uh, of Bauma, but uh, yeah, of course, uh, we recently announced the CAT battery power system um, that we have. And so that's what we have on display here, which is a 600 volt um, battery pack system um, that's designed uh, specifically for the off-highway uh, market. And so, yeah, we're really excited to be able to talk to customers about that and demonstrate some of the investments we're making on the off-highway uh, off advanced power side. Of course, being off-highway focused, we're super excited about that as well. Excellent. So is there anything we haven't talked about that you can think of that, you know, people visiting the booth or who people here at the show should come by and talk to you about? Our big focus is really meeting customers where they're at. And so we know, again, that energy transition journey is different for each customer, different applications and different by, by region. And so we're really excited to be able to engage with customers on that journey with them, understand what their technology needs are, what, what they're trying to accomplish from a sustainability standpoint, a product, productivity standpoint. And so really the focus is, is really understanding what their wants and needs are, uh, meeting them where they are with that technology, talking about our diesel, talking about low carbon intensity fuels, talking about, of course, advanced power. Um, but then there's also the connectivity aspect of understanding how are your machines operating in the field. And a big part of that is making sure that you have connected assets in the field and be able to help customers support them in optimizing their operations. Well, thank you again, Dustin, so much for talking with us today, and I hope you have a good day one. Thanks, Laura.